Hey guys, Jess here and welcome to Minecraft Diaries. In the last episode, I was building a house and as you can see on that hill over there, I have made a small little abode. So today, I'm going to be focusing on moving into there as well as moving Thorgy with me because it's been like I've said, really crowded with Emily and the librarian here. But before I go over there, I kind of want to get to know the villagers and maybe give them a little gift. Or, you know, just a little something to show that I'm still here. I'm not going to be abandoning them. I'm just going to go and move into my own place. So, Emily and the librarian, this might be our last time together. So, do you have anything to say to me? It's really boring here. Yeah, that's exactly why I'm moving. Um... And, uh, how, let's see. Oh, yeah, I think I forgot to do something, so I have to go. Oh, well, you might not have to go if I give you the gift of an iron ingot. You know, a great gift when you see it. Yeah, of course I do, because I made the gift. I made it with my bare mining hands. And then I have Aiden the farmer. Let's interact with him. Um, let's chat and see how he likes us. Um, mm-hmm. Oh, he doesn't like us. That was a mm-hmm, not a, like... Uh-huh, like I like you. Let's just, okay, let's just give him a small little token of our appreciation to show that we appreciate him being a farmer. These are priceless. Of course, I know they're priceless. They're like the best things ever. And let's see if we can talk to some of the guards, because we haven't really talked to them aside from um, Garoth and Zenix. And Garoth looks like he's over here today. And what is he doing? What are you doing, Garoth? Uh, ooh, good evening. Nothing to report. All is well today. Oh, that's good, because today is a great day. Today is a day, Thorgy, that we move out of here and Emmeline won't see us again. I mean, she's going to see us when we have to come back to, like, you know, grab our stuff so we can, you know, move over there. But uh, let, let me actually show you, Thorgy, what, the, what it's like over there. Um... I haven't taken Thorgy there, but I came back for some materials over here. I kind of just went all at it and built like a regular house with the materials I had on me. But, um, ooh, I, oh, I actually need birch. I didn't realize I had this much birch inside of my chest. Okay, that's perfect. It's perfect. All right, Thorgy, so let's go over and take a look at um what's going on over there. And I'm also going to try to breed some of the chickens because it looks like you're getting low on your health. And, um, you're not eating the fish, the cooked fish that I left inside your bowl. So let's go see how the chickens are doing, because we got the chicken farm. And by the way, I'm still expanding the village slowly over time. So, as we go on, you'll see, like, small little things progress. Um, ooh, all these chickens here. If, if I had some seeds, that would be fantastic. Can we get some more baby chicks? No, we can't get more baby chicks. But we're gonna have to start slaughtering some of these chickens, Thorgy, so you can, so you can have some, uh, you know, some, some good chickens in you. Some good... Homemade chickens like you know, okay get get in there chicken. Just don't come back over here They're not gonna be the smartest chickens Thorgy, but they're gonna be the nicest chicks you ever met the nicest chicks you ever ate Okay, um Let's see our farm seems to be doing okay. We could take a little oh, we could actually take some of the crops here now and make Small strawberries out of oh, there we go. So we're not we're not getting a, a bit. I don't think those were completely mature So um, yeah, we we, we definitely got to make this work now like this has got to work. This 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 has just got it. This this can't fail. This can't fail, guys. Okay, and then we have some rice. The rice seems to be doing pretty good. Oh, come here, come here. And and Thorgy, why are you getting on this stuff? You know, I'm gonna take this rice with me. I'm I'm not gonna have you do anything crazy to it. But um, let's see. I needed some stone and I needed a shovel. So yeah, let, let's get going. We can go up to the house so you guys can take a look at it and see how it's doing. Um, some of the little mod la. Uh, like some of the little things that I did were um, basically just make a small house. It doesn't have a roof. It doesn't have like a floor. It's got windows. It's got the panes that I had. Um, and Thorgy's already here. Look at him taking a look at it. But it's got a nice ocean view. So as you can see, I can look down and see all the sea creatures whenever they start popping up. And I can see the docks from here. And I can basically, I got like a really good view of the village. And I really like this. Take a look at that. I can see the village from here. I can see, um, I think I can see the old lord's place from here. That's that's why I was kind of just like, yeah, I can see the old lord's place from here. It's a good, it's a good point for getting some good sightseeing done. So what we want to do in here is we just kind of want to dig up this area. We want to make it so, well, we don't, we don't want to use the bow. want to make it so we have like a nice little, uh, you know, a nice little floor going. And Thorgy's going to be really happy about that because he's going to get his own little bed. Uh, I'm going to start working on getting some doggy treat uh, beds and stuff like that. Maybe some actual doggy treats for him. Because he's been such a good dog lately. I mean, he's... I mean, there was that one time where I forgot to feed him. And, ooh, there's a lucky butterfly outside. There was uh, one time when I forgot to feed him. And he, you know, kind of got a little bit, like, eh, after that. But he's been doing such a good job at just, you know, being a good protector and a good dog in general. So he needs a nice little cozy bed that he can get into. 
Uh, yeah, there we go, Thor. You, you patrol the outside. You keep doing that. And I was thinking about having a small little balcony. Um, this place is going to expand as well as I, as I go. I might make a top floor and I might make a small little underground, uh, you know, research lab where I can put all my stuff in, get all my, um, get all my little knickknacks going and whatnot. And this roof, um, I gotta focus on that next. Thorgy, I don't even know what you're doing. You're not supposed to be in there. That's, like, dangerous for you. You shouldn't be doing that. All right. I don't know why I took the crafting bench back, but we can just bring this crafting bench out and make a ladder to go up to the roof because that would be very helpful right now. I couldn't reach a lot of the parts up there, so I have to I have to do it now with a... Ooh, what was that? Ooh, that's scary. That sounded really scary. All right. Um, I don't need a button. I don't know why I need a button. Um, let's grab some sticks. And Thorgy, you actually need sticks, don't you? You need, like, quite a bit of sticks. So here we go with the ladder. Bring this here. And make maybe a few more. And I think six ladders will be enough. Six should be perfectly fine. So we can get up onto the rooftops. Um, let's see. We could just knock this down. And I think what I'm going to do... I think what I'm going to do, because I was looking at this from the other side. I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put some... some um, some small little rooftops on here. So I'm going to have some, uh, let's take a quick look. I could have some small planks just covering the top. And I think that would be more than enough. This is the, like, I'm doing so, a few build, a few bit of building on camera. But that's because I really want like, like, to share this experience of finishing up the house with you guys. Because I was working on it a little bit. I had like a nice little nice little stepping stool here that I made out of like the, the all the reject wood that I didn't use. But... But now it's like, oh man, it's it's time to it's time to grow up. It's time to move on. I think yeah, I think this is perfectly fine for right now. And then when I start expanding, I can make like another a nice little um Yes, Thorgy, yeah, I can hear it. I can make like a nice little upper stairs. And uh for now I think this will be great. I think this is perfectly fine. There we go. Alright, and Thorgy, yeah, where where'd you go? He's still down below. Good. Don't don't come up here. Up here is dangerous. It's very dangerous right now. Um there we go, I got my oak wood slabs, put those there, put that here. Just get it just get a little foundation going, you know, nothing too nothing too crazy. Nothing too crazy. Nothing too crazy for us anyway. There we go. Alright, so the house is done. All it need all it needs now <laughs> sorry, that was a little rumble in my throat. All it needs now is just a bit of lighting, and we should get that done very soon. We should actually move our bed in here today. Thorgy, how about this? You stay here, you guard the house, you be a good, yeah, you be so good, you be a really good doggy. And you stay right there, I'll make sure I'll bring a bowl for you, because uh, I know how the bowls work. And, uh, how they set, ooh, and we have to make a path to the house, that's the next thing on the agenda. We'll make a path to the house, um, we'll make a path, we'll, uh, kinda, you know, have, um, what are you doing? You, just, you were just, just looking up like that, looking around, and now she's fuming, Emma the guard. Everyone's asking me how I've been, like, and look, oh, look, Emmeline's like, what have you been up to? I haven't seen you in a while. That's because I moved. I got, I got, Emmeline, you, you weren't very nice to me, and I, I don't appreciate that. And, um, you know, I, I decided that, oh, I gotta plant this orange tree, I forgot about that. I decided that it was time that I, uh, you know, go about our, our separate ways. You, you can have this, this nice little house, at least, and I have Flipper. Flipper's coming with me. You know, you have your own way of doing things, and I have my own way of doing things, and uh, we're just, we're just not, you know, we're not, we're, uh, it's over, we're done, we're, I'm sorry, we're, we're just done, we, we, we can't, we can't coexist in the same place together. Um, okay, so, next thing that I wanted to do is I wanted to get some, some seeds to give the chickens, because Thorgy's getting hungry, and I'm gonna need to, unfortunately, sacrifice a few chickens for the greater good. So, let's put those bridge in there, put this in here. There we go, and let's get some seeds. There's lots of seeds here. Oh yeah, lots of seeds. And we're gonna go to the chickens. Now chickens, that, this is totally not your fault. Like, this is not your fault, chickens. Like, this is just, it's a circle of life. It's the food chain, and you guys just happen to be like on the tastiest part of the food chain. So there's chicken love, chicken love, and since you have no one to love, you just, you, you, bye chicken. There we go. All right, cool. All right, so all right, chickens. I will be back later, um, to get you guys. You guys, you know, in the meantime, you can have this this button, this button right here. We will put the chicken button right there. They can, they can't operate that button, so I'm not even worried about them. Okay, let's head on back. Put our our bed inside of the um. Let's put our bed inside of the 
the house. And I think we can take a, like, a nice and good, well-deserved nap or something. Or just, like, you know, settle up a little bit. It's getting a little dark right now. And I don't want to be doing too much at night. Um, yeah, and there's a, there's a, is that a sheep? Or a goat? Oh, the goat, oh, the goat farm's right there. That's right. I can't forget about that. Um, all right. So, Thorgy, hello. I am home. We have some nice torches here. Some nice torches here. Some here. You know, maybe just uh, a few up here, like maybe one, two, and then one, two. There we go. Awesome. Now we can have my bed, and we're going to put that, you know, we're going to put that right here. And then we're going to put, um, I don't know if it's okay to, like, use this, the old lord's desk. But I'm going to go ahead and use that so I can write my own entries and stuff like that. Because it's called Minecraft Diaries, and I want to have, like, my own little diary that I... That I come to every now and then. And oh yeah, it's definitely getting dark. Alright, Thorgy, we're, I think we're going to go ahead and, you know, go to bed right now. So, let's go ahead and do that. Alright, Thorgy, it's already morning, so let's get down to business. Time to go out and see what we can do for the village. Um, let's take a look. Oh! Hey, who are you? Look at you! You're... Can I talk to you? Uh, this guy's got his clothes all ripped off, and uh, I don't really like that, and you're actually being super creepy. So I'm gonna push you down, like, this way. I like you, it's just... You're, you're really creepy, Casanova, and WHAT HAPPENED TO THE DOGS?! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Um, alright, uh... The docks are gone. The docks are gone. And, uh... That- oh, this is not good. This is not good. What, what's going on here? Um... Who do I talk to first? Uh... Let's see, I have, uh, Zenex over here? What does he say? No one in the village knows of this, Lady Aphmau, except for myself, Gareth and Paul. To be frank, Gareth and I would like to keep it that way. I have my own reasons for wanting it this way. You should see Gareth. Uh, alright, what are you going to be doing? <laughs> I'm here to clean up and do some scouting in the area. Maybe I can find the bastard who did this. I was set to do my patrol here an hour before this happened. It's weird. Are you okay, Zenix? I... I seem to recall an event in my life, something that happened that was, or at least felt like this once, before, somewhere. You should go talk to Gareth now. So what happened? The, the docks exploded? Um, Paul, the, this is horrible, absolutely horrible. I don't even, I was, Visha was my best friend. He went out of his way to help me out and bring me here to sell food for my family. Now this, now this, I just... Please let me be. I just need time. <gasps> Visher died? No way! And where's my Thorgy at? I'm sorry, I'm, I'm like, playing off from the actual issue here, but still. Like, what? Okay, um, Gareth. Gareth's still here. Oh, good. Alright, Gareth, what's going on? I'm glad you came to see me. The explosion that happened at the docks. Visher, please don't tell anyone in this village about it. Uh, why not? It's a huge issue, an issue that a small village cannot deal with. Visher was a wonderful man, I'm sure. We will honor him where he fell, but the docks were not something we were expecting to happen. But they did, and as quickly as they were constructed, they were taken away. In short, no one in town even knew we had a dock. It's just something we can work towards later. Uh, okay, so Zinix, yeah, Zinix said you called for me. Um, yes I did. We need to get Paul and Visher's body back home. Ooh, that's a little... Uh, <laughs> this is where you come in. Please, I ask if you reconstruct a, v reconstruct a Visher's sea vessel, or at least a new one. Just something to get Paul back home. You need not do it, but I ask, I'll leave the choice in your hands. If you can make this happen, I know a way we can make it all, make it sail. Possibly with you aboard. Oh, well, <laughs> if we're... <laughs> If we're transporting a uh, uh, two people, like a like a body, and um, I'm, I'm okay with a guy, just a body. And, okay, all right, um, all right, we could do that. 
Um, how does, yeah, how does, how does, what's his face feel about it? Brendan, like, Brendan, does he know about this? Well, no, actually, he doesn't know about this. Is, should I even talk to him? Uh, maybe not. Maybe I should just, um, all right, well, maybe we should, right, let's just go talk to him. He's here. Um, howdy there, friend. Tell him about the docs. Leave him in ignorant bliss. Um, what, uh, oh, God, it's giving me, uh, okay, um, uh, Tell Garl told me not to, but we could tell him about the docks. The the docks I spent days working on was blown up. Who who would do this? I could tell him about Visher as well. Don't tell him about Visher. Uh, may, maybe I won't tell him about Visher. So let's let's not tell him about Visher. Uh, uh, I'll get my shovel again and start working on a new dock for more trade. Awesome. Okay. All right. So. Uh, yeah, that was a little unexpected, but I think the village will be fine. I didn't t I told- I told Brendan- I told him that, you know, the village- the dock blew up, but I didn't tell him about Visher dying, and I got this really creepy- that- was the creepy guy still here? Is he still lurking around here? Because that was really creepy. Alright, so Thorgy, you're not doing a very good job of protecting the house, but I'll forgive you this one time just because you're adorable. Okay, guys, we're gonna go ahead and wrap up this episode, um... I, at least I got a good view of the docks from here, so I could at least keep an eye on it. You know, if something crazy goes on, I could always, you know, rush over there and help or do something, but that's really sad. That That is really sad. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for tuning into this episode of Minecraft Diaries. I look forward to seeing you guys in the next one, and we'll see what happens. Um, obviously, I'm gonna have to construct a boat, so that's the next thing we're gonna work towards. It seems like I'm gonna have to put my house off for a little bit, so yeah. We're gonna make a boat in the next episode and see if we can get, you know, spirits going high, because garoth has got a lot on his plate over there. Until next time, guys, I will see you then. Bye-bye! He's waving with his tail, bye-bye, look at that. And then he stopped and he's like, oh, you're judging me.